Good afternoon to the Honorable President of India, Shri Pranam Mukherjee Ji, the Honorable Vice President, Shri Hamid Ansari, the Honorable Prime Minister, Shri Narendra Modi Ji, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It is a privilege for us to have the opportunity to publish the Vice President's works. It is not very often that publishers have such privileges, but such is our great land that today is a unique moment for us in the history of Indian publishing and also in the history of Rupa. It is very rare for any publishing company or for any nation for that matter to have such an such a opportunity where the top three citizens or the top three dignitaries of the country are authors of that publishing company. We are fortunate enough, blessed enough to have Sri Pranam Mukherjee Ji, the Honorable President, the Honorable Vice President and the Honorable Prime Minister, all of them as our authors and we feel privileged to have had this opportunity. While I was entering the world of publishing, I had the good fortune of interacting with the Honorable Vice President at Observer Research Foundation many, many years ago. We were fortunate enough even then to publish a book called Iran Today. And during those, while I was interacting with him at that point in time, through the late uh, Mishraji of ORF, one um, got to learn so much uh, about his knowledge on the subject. It was a wish, a desire, uh, and a hope that one day we will get the opportunity to publish the second one. Uh, I think Fortune was kind, Luck smiled, the Vice President was kind enough to give us that privilege, and here we are, ladies and gentlemen, with Citizen and Society. We can describe this book in ma many ways, but I think uh, the best way to describe this is a short paragraph that, that talks about the book, which is, documenting the interface between the citizens of a democratic nation and the multicultural society which they in inhabit. Citizen and Society is a collection of lectures delivered by the Vice President of India. This volume chronicling the issues within the overarching themes of polity, identity, security and empowerment is an account of where India as a nation stands today. Ladies and gentlemen, it is also an important part of a publisher's address or a welcome address to talk a little bit about the author. In, uh, and while interacting with various authors as publishers, we get to know different individuals, different sides of different individuals. And the privilege of that, of being a publisher, is that you always get to know the person rather than the office. I must say at this point in time, ladies and gentlemen, it has been an absolute delight for us at Rupa to have had the opportunity to work with Hamid Ansari ji, the author, as well as Hamid Ansari ji, the vice president. It is not often that you walk into the vice president's office and are met, are you meet someone who puts you at ease from the very first moment. And for somebody who types his own lectures, answers his own emails, I think it's a lesson for all of us. Um, with th these words, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to once again thank the author for giving us this privilege and to the dignitaries for allowing us to have this function here. Thank you very much. <laughs> Respected Rajpati Ji, it's gracious of you to have accepted my request and generous to have spared the time for this function today. I thank Pradhan Mantri Ji and all those present for joining us this afternoon. The volume being released here is a collection of memorial or anniversary lectures convocation addresses, and speeches on specific themes or occasions. My endeavor in each was to ascertain and dilate upon a theme pertaining to the citizen body. These of necessity cover polity, identity, empowerment, security, and some aspects of global affairs. In each, the effort is to probe the diversity of challenges that confront us. My answers to questions raised, and sometimes teasing ones, are answers of one citizen of this great republic of over a billion souls whose lives are guided by the Constitution of India and by a value system reflective of our immense diversity and are premised on the rule of law. There is no pretense of certitude. 
An open society like ours needs more debate, greater elbow room for unorthodox views. A plural society like ours needs to develop the mindset to move beyond tolerance to acceptance of diversity. The quest continues, hence the need to keep walking towards the receding horizon. Thank you, sir. Adhani Rashpati ji, Adhani Uprashpati ji, Upastit sabhi Adhani Mahanubhav. Mai Uprashpati ji ko rudai se badhai deta hu. उनका जो मंथन है, उनकी जो विचार यात्रा है, उसको संकलित करके भावी पीढ़ी के लिए उन्होंने प्रस्तुत किया है। सिटीजन की चर्चा है, लेकिन टेक्नोलॉजी ने सिटीजन को नेटीजन बना दिया है। सीमाएं समाप्त हो रही हैं और सोच का दायरा बदलता चला जा रहा है उसके बीच भी हजारों साल पुरानी हमारी समाज व्यवस्था ने हम लोगों का जो लालन पालन किया है तो हमारे यहाँ सिटीजन एंड सोसाइटी के बीच में एक फैमिली नाम की इकाई है और वो हमारी सबसे बड़ी ताकत रही है व्यक्ति की आशा अपेक्षाएं ऊर्जा समाज की आशा अपेक्षाएं ऊर्जा उसमें जब कॉन्फ्लिक्ट होता था तो फैमिली सिस्टम उसको बैलेंस करने के लिए बहुत बड़ी भूमिका अदा करता था और जब भी हमारी फैमिली सिस्टम स्ट्रांग रही है और आज भी अमेरिका में चुनाव होता है तो एक मैनिफेस्टो में एक बात होती है कि हम फैमिली वैल्यूज को रिवाइव करेंगे हमारी ये पांच हजार साल पुरानी ये व्यवस्था एक विरासत है जो नागरिक को अपने सामाजिक जिम्मेवारियों के लिए बांधता रहता है और वही हमारी एक बहुत बड़ी अमानत है उसको हम कैसे संभालें उसी प्रकार से हम दुनिया के सामने एक उत्तम उदाहरण है जिसका हमने गर्व करना चाहिए कि एक ऐसा देश जहाँ सैकड़ों भाषाएं हैं सैकड़ों बोलियां हैं एक ऐसा है देश जहाँ हर प्रकार की आस्थाएं हैं एक ऐसा देश जहाँ आस्थावादी और अनास्थावादी भी साथ साथ जीते हैं गुजारा करते हैं यात्रा चलाते हैं विश्व के सामने प्रस्तुत करने वाली हमारी एक बहुत बड़ी अमानत है इसको हम उस सामर्थ्य को कैसे दुनिया के सामने ले जाएं और उसमें हर नागरिक का कोई न कोई कर्तव्य रहा है हर नागरिक ने अपनी जिम्मेवारी निभाई है तब ये संभव हुआ है और उसको एक शक्ति के रूप में हम किस प्रकार से दुनिया के सामने और संकटों से और संघर्षों से गुजर रहे समाज को एक रास्ता दिखाने की परंपरा हम लोगों के पास है उस परंपरा को हम गौरव कैसे करें हो सकता है उसकी टर्मिनोलॉजी आज की जो ग्लोबल टर्मिनोलॉजी होगी वो नहीं होगी हो सकता है उसकी बातचीत का तरीका संवैधानिक परिभाषा में नहीं होगा लेकिन उसके संस्कार उसके उसूल उसकी परंपरा सर्वजन सुखाए सर्वजन हिताय यही रही और वही सबसे बड़ी ताकत है उस ताकत को उजागर करने का आधुनिक संदर्भ में संवैधानिक संदर्भ में कानूनी परिभाषा में प्रस्तुत करने का एक उत्तम प्रयास अंसारी साहब ने किया है मैं उनको बहुत बहुत बधाई देता हूं बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद
ऑनरेबल उपराष्ट्रपति जी मोहम्मद हामिद अंसारी ऑनरेबल प्राइम मिनिस्टर श्री नरेंद्र मोदी फॉर्मर प्राइम मिनिस्टर डॉक्टर मनमोहन सिंह मेंबर्स ऑफ द काउंसिल ऑफ मिनिस्टर्स मेंबर्स ऑफ पार्लियामेंट मिसेस सलमान सरी डिस्टिंग्विस्ट गेस्ट लेडीज एंड जेंटल आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू राष्ट्रपति भवन एंड आई वुड लाइक टू स्टार्ट विथ माय ऑब्जर्वेशंस दैट दिस हॉल हैज विटनेस्ड मेनी बुक्स टू बी रिलीज्ड एंड आई यूज टू रिमेन प्रेजेंट टू रिसीव द फर्स्ट कॉपी बट आई डिड नॉट रिलीज एनी बुक एट सच आई मेड एन एक्सेप्शन वेन आई रिसीव द प्रपोजल नॉट बिकॉज मिस्टर हमीद मोहम्मद अंसारी इज द वाइस प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ द रिपब्लिक बट बिकॉज ऑफ द फैक्ट आई नो हिम फॉर मेनी मेनी इयर्स एज ए मैन एज ए स्कॉलर as a diplomat administrator and over and above the perfect consul citizen of this great country if i say that i have gone through the book it would be injustice to the book and to myself i have just glanced through a few sections but immediately i found out and i connected that what is in the book when i remembered and here i would like to quote when he made an observation to the media on being appointed as the vice president for the first time that whether Mr Vice President you consider yourself as an apolitical person his response was no citizen is apolitical as a citizen by definition has to take interest in public affairs and good this is the theme of the book he has reminded us the responsibilities as the citizen which has bestowed upon us many a times we fail to do that but we cannot forget that without effective engagement we can't achieve success and protect our democracy democracy is always noisy but as our democracy is little more noisy but it is always paying if we engage ourselves with the issues that is always paying rich dividend sometimes i wonder when i look at how we are managing a country of 3.3 million square kilometers having 128 crores people seven religions 122 languages spoken in everyday life in some parts of the country 1800 dialects more than 6 and a half lakh villages all three major ethnicities caucasians dravidians mongolite yet under one system one flag one constitution and this marvel of indian democracy is to be natural 
It cannot be preserved, protected, advanced automatically. I thought that it would be my duty to draw the attention of the Indian citizens to this aspect, which distinguished Vice President has done with clarity and elan. I am not standing between you and the pleasure of having the, reading the books as and when you get the opportunity. Because truly you will find yourselves that what you feel, it is truly reflected in the columns of Dr. Hamid Ansari. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. And I wish all the future endeavors of Ansari Ji, particularly in bringing out his publications. Thank you. Jai Hind. Thank you, Mr. President, for releasing this eminently valuable book. I thank the Honorable Vice President for giving us the honor of publishing this book. It was a pleasure to work with you, sir. Thank you, Prime Minister, for honoring us at this occasion. And finally, thank you all, authors and potential authors, for joining us today. Thank you. <laughs>